Welcome to this week's weekly challenges in Grand Rhythmal 7. So we have five events to complete to win three brand new prizes, which consists of a credit ticket for 100,000 credits, a second credit ticket for 200,000 credits, and lastly, a six star roulette ticket for completing all five events. And let me know in the comment section what you get for your six star roulette ticket. So we see first events, we have a European Sunday Cup 400 around Kyoto Driving Park. So this is two laps, eight cars on circuit. You are starting off in eight position. You have to use a road car and it just has to be from Europe. So for me, I jumped into a bog standard VW Scirocco, which comes in at around 500 performance points, which was more than enough for this event because your suggested performance points rating is only 400. So there's no cap on this event, which means you can either jump into an Aston Martin Valkyrie or a very beginner entry level car for the game. It's up to you how you want to get this event done, either as quickly as possible or as authentic as possible. So for me, in my VW Scirocco R, which is bone stock, as I said, I completed this event in just under 4 minutes, which isn't really that long. But honestly, if you jump into a very fast vehicle, you can get it knocked out in under 3. So, moving on to the second event. For the second event, well, we head on over to Willow Springs International Raceway for a lightweight K Cup event. So, for this event, you need a K car. It has to use comfort soft tires and it has to come in at 400 performance points or less. So you have a bit of restrictions when it comes to this event, but it's five laps. You are starting in 16th out of 20th, so you do have a lot of places to make up in those five laps. So for me, I jumped into a Suzuki Cappuccino with 100 brake horsepower, so not particularly very fast. So. It's not fast racing, but it is still extremely competitive racing because whatever slip up you have, you do not have that much power to really make up that much ground. So you really have to be on top form and just be fast. So for this event, it is going to take a bit of time. I think it took me over seven minutes to get this event complete. So it is a bit more of a lengthy one compared to our first event, but it's quite a lot of fun pushing slow cars very fast so it's actually great fun and a great pick for this week's weekly challenges and talking about a great pick we have to look at the third event which is this week's special event so we have a one make race using the bac mono around dragon's trail international raceway this is the seaside layout my favorite layout of the circuit and well it's not that difficult of an event if you are using a fully upgraded BAC mono i'm talking about racing softs because there's no restrictions there's no fuel consumption no tire wear you can just jump into a fully maxed out BAC mono and have an absolute blast and using this vehicle around the circuit was a bit hair raising at moments because the vehicle does bite back occasionally but it just added to the excitement and overall made it a good event now you can either have your PSA mono fully maxed out or give it a relatively decent tune or use it on stock and see how good you are at driving against the AI it's completely up to you how you do it but an event that honestly showed me flames has to be the neoclassical competition around Red Bull Ring. Now this is one of the hardest events in Grand Turismo 7. Why I say that? Because using my go-to vehicle, which is the Jaguar XJR9, I mean I did a no-stop run and I still ended off in second place. For me, it's one of those events where you start off in last place it has fuel consumption, it has higher weight, so you do have to be extremely careful with how you run or the strategy you use for this event. Now for me, as I was going, I thought, okay, no pit stop strat, and I just watched the AI run away from me. Instead of like coming down a straightaway and you see, okay, you 
the numbers are slowly closing down. You know, you're you're making gain, you're gaining on the cars in front of you. They were running away from me to a point where I think it was over 30 seconds between myself and first place, and this was like on the sixth lap. So it did not go well, but thankfully, because I used a no pit stop strat when everyone started diving into the pits i made up a lot of ground and fortunate enough for me i finished in second position which is good enough for the weekly challenges which means i will still get a prize and the event's still gonna count and i'm still gonna end off with my six star let ticket and then for the last and final event we have the world rally challenge Group B around Eidger Nordwand reverse. So for this event, I jumped into my Audi Quattro Pikes Peak Special and had an absolute blast. Now with this event, it is 12 laps. You are starting off in 12th position. Fuel consumption is quite high for this event and you also have tire wear applied to this event. Now for it, the car has to be a Group B vehicle, categorized vehicle. Has to be a racing car and you have to use either a racing compound tire so that's your racing hard medium soft intermediate to be wet for me i jumped onto racing hard through my level six and that got me quite far into the event before i need to dive into the pits refuel and then come out something you do need to watch out for is when going into the pit lane and exiting because there is a pit lane penalty if you do cut it so that is something you do want to watch out for so for this week's events uh the hardest one you do need to watch out for is the neoclassical challenge my favorites of the week is very hard to come by it's not the world rally champion it's not the world rally challenge uh i honestly think they kind of overdoing it with the Edgar Nordwin reverse layout because okay okay we've got a new circuit but every week we are going around the same circuit like let's, let's try up the rotation like understand you want to use it but let's try something a bit different neoclassical competition is a, a real challenge so I will give him props putting a hard event in there uh, not my favorite Honestly, I'm leaning towards the lightweight K Cup being my favorite event because even the BIC Mono event, it was fun but didn't really invoke a lot of or bring out a lot of emotion in me. And the Sunday Cup 400 is just a walk in the park. So I think generally the K Series, well, the K Car Cup was my favorite event of the week but hey let me know your favorite events in the comment section down below and what was being said i will catch you guys in the next video peace